hey guys i'm back with a new video in this video i'm going to show you how can you create uh, a new fiber gig to attract more clients uh, basically this uh, specific uh, category it has very less uh, very less people selling the services very less people are selling the service so uh, just go to fiber and search for restaurant menu you can see that there are around 3700 plus results uh, meaning 3700 plus people are selling this service you can see that uh, if you s uh, search for digital menu uh, you can see that the number are very less it's 922 people are selling this uh, digital uh, restaurant menus so you can uh, create a gig on, on on this and start selling but the question is how can you create a digital uh, digital menu so for that, uh, uh, before going to create a, before going to create a, like a digital menu, I'm going to show you. Uh, if I search for a website, you can see that there are two hundred fifty thousand plus uh, around people or results. Uh, there can be less people because uh, a single person can have multiple gigs. So there are two hundred fifty thousand plus gigs uh, are selling this website service. Uh, as comparatively for a digital menu you can see that the result is around 922 now the question is how can you create a menu so for that uh, just uh, go to the rapidoconnect.com slash login if you do not have an account just create one after that uh, just log in to your account what you need to do here is uh, create a new project just click on it and name it uh, as a menu and uh, just give your project a URL just call it uh, dummy menu then click on the create button once you create the project just click on the newly created project which is this menu basically it is an editor where you can uh, simply drag and drop elements to create a web page so here you can see this uh, basic menu just like this one I'm going to drop it here what you can do with it just uh, double click on it you will see uh, um, a new you can call it uh, a window will pop up so you can see that there is a view when you click it there will be more options when you click this horizontal scroll meaning this is this horizontal scroll uh, or the image category uh, item and description a price for a menu and the currency uh, if you click on this plus icon you can add a category uh, for example burger fish whatever category you have let me just click on a new category you can see that this new category is also added here in this uh, horizontal scroll bar uh, let's say if you want to add a new item just click on your newly uh, newly created category uh, just name it as fish uh, change the icon uh, item name like uh, fish item uh, set the price to maybe hundred dollars and add a description this wait a minute this is a brand new fish whatever pr uh, proper you know uh, description you, description you want to add uh, you can also add the image of uh, you, uh, of the specific menu item just click if you do not have it just click on the upload and upload it I'm just going to choose from my drive mm, let's say mm -hmm, mm, this I want to select this image right uh, if you want want to add the discounted price you can add discount as well let's say I want to give ten dollar discount just click on that just type the amount and then hit save you can see that uh, a new category is created is fish the, the name of the item the description and the price so uh, after that by clicking on this item you can add a category you can delete a category rename it add items XYZ by clicking this you can configure the way your menu represents okay let's say I want to change the currency to USD so you can see that it will uh, it will have an effect globally not a single item okay 
you can change the um, like icon for your uh, USD uh, for example should be 12 pixel and make it a bit bolder you can hide it or you can show it as well you can change the color of your currency as well let's make it a green like uh, like this dark green um, this is a price section where you can change uh, the properties of your price for example let's make it 20 pixel and uh, make it lightweight or bolder um, then you can even hide these fields so I'm going to change it to like uh, 20 pixel or maybe 16 I'm going to set it as it is um, you can also change I uh, mess around with the description you can make it make it bold just uh, hide it all together or then sh or show it change the color you can change the item similarly change the font size to 32 make them bolder you definitely cannot align it uh, or if you want to hide the item name you can do that as well just about the category make them bolder or maybe lighter change uh, uh, change their alignment or if you want to hide them you can do that as well uh, for images uh, you can increase the size as well just hit proportional so you can resize it proportionally like this you can hide field if you do not have an image uh, or you can change like the radius of your image horizontal scroll bar uh, you can change the background color of your horizontal scroll bar uh, if you want to make it transparent you can do that as well just you can change the radius of your horizontal scroll bar as well you can change the color uh, of the items within these within this horizontal scroll bar you can change the font size um, you can make them bold uh, normal or light you can hide these arrows uh, in case if you do not want it you can uh, like uh, make the horizontal bar disappear as well if you do not need it uh, final thing is the view here let me close all these uh, view is basically uh, let me add a color you'll know this background is your um, basic basic menu view so I'm going to change the color I can see I can change the um, radius I can remove the padding when this menu container like this or uh, yeah after you are done with it uh, let's say I want to add the restaurant logo just click on this image drag and drop it here you'll see it will pop up here just um, drag and drag it to the top of your view just click on it image you can upload file the logo so I'm going to choose this one you can also uh, increase the size of your image to 150 pixel uh, you can also change like this uh, image view or image container the properties you can also change it uh, make sure it is zero or zero or zero like this if you want to add a padding like um, margin to the bottom you can also do that um, let's talk about uh, uh, I can also hide this slider as well let's talk about the background and this white uh, canvas on which our menu is placed I can just click on this uh, you can also view how it will look like on the tablet and on the mobile and you can adjust or reduce the size accordingly I'm going to just go to the desktop one and just click on this brush uh, this is the root which is this part portion in our uh, in our um, website and this canvas represent this uh, this white white one let me just change the color see I have changed the color to this and I can also add the image background uh, for the canvas it will have like this background you can add a padding if you want to remove the padding from your canvas you can do that as well like this and uh, 
for the root background you can also upload an image you can use a pattern like this pattern so it will look like this it depends on your styling how 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 you want to style your menu once you are done with the, your cre creativity just click on the publish button uh, you will have this URL when you visit this URL you will see your menu or uh, this is the QR just scan it you will redirect it to this URL I'm going to just open it here you can see that the menu you have just created you can uh, you can view it here but th this looks sucks uh, obviously you need uh, to like uh, work on it to make it more beautiful uh, let me show you an example. Uh, this is the menu. This is a Sarai menu. Uh, this is the actually the menu of a restaurant. You can see that how good is look uh, comparatively, and it looks good on a mobile devices. So if I inspect, you can see that when a user see it on a mobile, so he can like this is how you will see it. He can also uh, jump to the specific category as well, like you want to look at the rice. And this is the rice section as well so this is how you uh, create and sell services on a Fiverr in this category which has around 922 results so and make sure uh, whenever uh, your client whoever your client is you can also tell him that uh, he can later on uh, modify or edit the menu let's say if I'm, I'm going to click this I need to modify some prices okay so I'm going to click this menu go to the this plus section and let's say the pr the price for a burger is changed now so i'm going to click on the burger uh, click on this just change the price to like 2000 and then save it you can see that this 2000 is updated now and when I, when i click on the publish button uh, it will get published and then i'm going to open it here you can see that the price will be changed C2000 so your client can update the menu in real time uh, one more interesting thing about uh, this is that your client will have the analytics tool as well so I'm going to click on the analytics select my project which is this dummy menu you can see that whenever someone uh, directly visit the menu uh, you can see that this vi uh, direct visit via URL if someone scan from the QR you can see that uh, someone scan uh, someone scans from the QR QR this metric will be updated similarly uh, from NFC or from AR it will tell you which platform the user scanned or visit your menu uh, the popular location and average time uh, your user spent so uh, this is it um, you can use rapido connect uh, to create a menus uh, for a restaurant a digital menu and charge them because this this category has a very very less um, less people are selling this so yeah so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one with more tips and uh, how can you make money